Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make a delicious buffalo chicken dip. Perfect for football season, tailgating, uh, holiday parties, just whatever you got going on. And it's a good, it's a warm dip, so it is perfect for the cooler days ahead, and it is so good. I'm gonna, and it's easy, so I'm going to show y'all how I make buffalo chicken dip. Hey, mountain friends, how's everybody doing? Hey, everybody loves a good dip. I know our family loves dips, and the holidays are coming up, so a lot of people's going to be having parties and everybody loves a good old buffalo chicken dip. I know we do. Uh, my daughter, Mackenzie, just loves buffalo chicken dip. I'm gonna show you all how to make an easy buffalo chicken dip. Now this recipe is, uh, I'm doubling this recipe. I always do because it seems like the, the regular uh, recipe seems like just runs out really fast. And I double this recipe. So the measurements I'm gonna give you guys is double. You can always half that if you don't need as much as I'm gonna be making. But uh, this recipe is still fit in about a nine by 13 pan. I'm gonna use an aluminum pan. You wanna preheat your oven to 350. And I'm just gonna read off what you're gonna need right quick. You're gonna need uh, two blocks of cream cheese. So that's two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. I've already got mine laid out, got it. You need it really soft. You can put it in the microwave for a few minutes, maybe about 30, 40 seconds at a time. Test it and see. Uh, make sure it's pretty soft, okay? And you're gonna want um, about four cups of sour cream for this. So this is what I'm using. I'm using four cups of sour cream. Um, I'm doing uh, four cups of shredded Kobe Jack cheese. You can use Monterey, uh, Monterey Jack. You can use any kind of cheese you want, but I'm using Kobe Jack. Uh, you're gonna need 10 ounces of Frank's hot sauce, which is about a cup and a third of hot sauce. And uh, Frank's hot sauce is what we like. Look at there. I like hot sauce on my chicken. I like it on just about everything, but it's so good for this recipe. And you're going to need uh, two packs of ranch mix, okay? Now, I don't have ranch mix, but I am using ranch dressing, so it's gonna be about a cup. I'm using about a cup of ranch dressing in my recipe. But uh, if you're gonna be making it and you can get the packet, then do the packet. So uh, I am doing, and you're gonna need, um, did I mention, oh yeah. You're going to need two cups of shredded chicken. And I'm using a rotisserie chicken that I've already uh, shredded with my fingers. So basically all you do <laughs> is just put it all together. Uh, what I do is I just put it all together and, and then I, I like to put the cheese and everything in mine and sprinkle mine with a little bit additional cheese, okay? Um, but when I put it in the oven. And like I said, you want your oven to be at 350 and you're just basically gonna put it all in there until it's all melted. Uh, probably gonna take maybe 20 minutes until it's all gooey and melted. This is so good, y'all. Perfect for the holidays coming up. So let's get started. You're gonna take your cream cheese and you're just gonna put it right in with your chicken. And what I do, I mix, I mix this first. Just get it right in there and mix it all together. So let me get that mixed. All right, so I got this mixed in. The cream cheese and the chicken is a little harder to mix in than the rest of the stuff. So I'm now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. And you're gonna add your sour cream. And this just makes it really creamy. I made this so much, so I made this a lot, y'all, because uh, Kenzie absolutely loves it. And in goes your buffalo sauce, your hot sauce. 
Now I'm gonna mix this up, and it's messy. Now I got this all mixed up, and like I said, it's messy, but um, I'm telling y'all, this is so good. We, I take this to uh, our family gathers for Christmas, you know, like just for like a dip or an appetizer. This is perfect. Church gatherings, I mean, it's always a hit. Now in goes the ranch dressing, and I'm probably doing a good cup there. If you were doing the uh, packets, you would do two packets of ranch dressing mix. And stir that in. Now I got my pan sprayed ahead of time. I'm using one of these pans. I did spray it with some nonstick spray. And you wanna make sure you do that. Just get all that stirred in. And I think rotisserie chicken uh, is better for this recipe too. Even if you're making chicken salad, I think rotisserie chicken is always better. I don't even like cooked chicken. Uh, usually for dips and chicken salad, I prefer rotisserie chicken. So now I'm gonna put the cheese in. Now, my, like I said, I am doubling this, so uh, it normally calls for two cups. I'm doing four cups. And most people like me, to, if you agree with me, I think this is a good size recipe. Doubling it, I think, is a, is, because it will keep in the refrigerator too for several days, three or four days. So I'm gonna stir that in. I got it all mixed. Now I saved some of the cheese to put on top, because you definitely want cheese to go on top, so. Yeah. Because this is always, I'm telling you, every time I've made this, or every time I've been around where somebody has made this, uh, there's usually, it, it's always the first to go, okay? It's always the first dip to go. If you like hot dips, um, I mean, I love it. And it, like I said, it just, it seems to go before everything else because people just really love it. And I want to top it with some more cheese. And this is really simple and quick and you're going to do it all in one bowl, which I like. Put the rest of my cheese on here. Now, some people put blue cheese on this. You can. Or you can use blue cheese dressing instead of ranch. Get the rest of my cheese here. We shred our own cheese, so it's always hard to get out of here. But um, I about got it all out. Uh, some people do additional blue cheese crumbles on top, which would be really good. And like I said, you could do blue cheese dressing in, in place of the ranch dressing if you want. So now it's going to go in the oven. It's preheated to 350. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I want to, I usually let mine bake for about 20, 30 minutes till it's all gooey and melted. It's going to be delicious, guys. All right, y'all. Look who's tearing into <laughs> the buffalo dip. This is one of her favorite foods. She loves buffalo anything. She loves hot sauce, which she takes it, takes it at her, her mother. And I like it too. And what do you think? She hasn't stopped. I literally haven't stopped in <laughs> She's been shoving so it in. I'm hungry. Yeah, she's hungry. But of course. Yeah. So this is really easy and it's good. This is a double recipe, but you can easily uh, half it. Because literally, so can you tell you, every time it gets made, it There's all no gets, leftovers. It gets gone. And it it's perfect for fall. It's warm, it's perfect for football. But I'm gonna show y'all how I like to eat mine. Um, of course, we got our y'all sweet tea. 
Mm, made a fresh batch today. It comes in regular and decaf, you guys. And the decaf is back in stock. Uh, I think it'd been on uh, like on back order for a little while, but it's all both um, regular and decaf is back in stock. And yeah, we drink sweet tea With everything <laughs> all the time. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. We've always got it. And I will drop their link if you are interested in the tea. Now, this buffalo chicken dip is naturally low carb because, um, I mean, it's just chicken and a lot of cheese, which is low carb stuff. So, a lot of people, so if you're into low carb, it is, you know, actually pretty good for low carb. So, if you're into low carb, I like to do celery instead of chips. Not me. Yeah, she's, yeah. And I like to do a little bit of blue cheese dressing, just drizzled on top of it. You can do blue cheese crumbles, because I love blue cheese and buffalo, like wings, and, and I just take me a big old bite. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like celery. I love celery. But I feel like it would be good. It's so good. I hate celery. Any vegetables would be good too. Mm -hmm. Little carrot. Yeah, we got baby carrots. And the blue cheese mm, sets it off. Now it is a little, it's got a kick. So if you don't want it as spicy, you can back off of the hot sauce. I put a cup and a third in this recipe. Like I said, it's a double recipe, but uh, you can back off of the hot sauce. If you want to do just a half a cup, it's perfect. I like. If you don't like hot sauce, you could back off, and maybe you should because it's a little spicy. But it really is the regular recipe for it. And here I am with the celery. She's doing it with carrots. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. And the blue cheese. Ooh, so good. So there you go. It's a little different way to make it. I mean, to have it, different ways to have it. It's perfect. It's so good. <laughs> Wipe my hands. So, anyway, guys, hope you make it. I will be dropping the recipe in the comments. And I'll be dropping the recipe at the top of the page under the photo section of my page. Click on photos, and then you'll see albums, okay? In the albums, you will see... Uh, an album titled Recipes. And it's always at the top of the page of Mountain Cooking with Missy, okay? That's where I always post recipes. Uh, I don't always post recipes. A lot of my recipes just are explained in videos. But if I do post one, I'll tell you. And I usually post picture form. That way it's uh, a picture where you can tap it and save it to your phone. Or screenshot it. Yeah, or screenshot it and it's already there and you got everything on it. So, and this is an easy recipe. So, I will be posting out a little later. So, hope y'all make this. And if you do, let me know. And so, we're going to get off here and finish eating. So, love you guys. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. Where it's nothing fancy. Just good eating. Just good eating. Bye, guys. <laughs>